lots of love and blessings. Many people have asked me recently about karma and how do you deal with bad karma and get out of it so that you can have the life you want. What do you do if you're stuck in relationships or stuck in a karmic account that is very disturbing? And this of course is a big problem because if you're an old soul and you probably are if you're watching this video and you've been around a while and you've got some karma then it's not a straightforward thing just to get out of it all of a sudden because we're kind of stuck in a web a web of karma and that web <laughs> it's complicated right it's more complicated than a lot of people realize and we can't just get out of it quickly. It's a bit like quicksand, right? We haven't got any quicksand here, but some, some places have quicksand where you get stuck in the sand and any time you move, it just gets worse and worse and worse. So karma can be a bit like that. Sometimes if we're trying too hard and we're trying to force our way out, we can get stuck in the quicksand and end up worse than we were before. So how can we deal with this situation where we have bad karma, we have challenging situations, we aren't where we want to be, and we want to get out of it? I think it's time to take a seat. This is a serious, serious topic. There are three ways of clearing our karma. Number one is through suffering when we suffer, when we have physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain, financial pain, if our environment is awful, these are all ways of suffering through karma. So any kind of stress and pain, anxiety, whatever it is on any level, it's trying to teach us a lesson and depending on how receptive we are, we can either get the lesson, learn the lesson, and then start making changes or as is often the case <laughs> we don't get the lesson right how many times have we done something wrong and we you know suffered through it and we sort of try to deal with it and then we did the same thing again and then we suffered again and we did it again and again and again this is the definition of madness and this is what happens in addictions we do something bad for us we suffer we say i'm not going to do it again then we do it again then we suffer again so Pain is a messenger. Karma is basically the consequence of bad actions that comes back in the form of pain. And when it does, it's trying to tell us something. It's trying to give us a lesson. It's trying to say, look, this pain has a message inside of it, right? We have to kind of find the message. And if we get the message, if you really understand what that message is, because each type of pain has a different specific message and specific message for you personally, if you get that specific message, that learning lesson, that lesson from the universe, and then you act upon that lesson, then the pain will start to get less. It might even disappear completely. Sometimes we get the lesson and it's finished, just like that, it's finished. And other times it's a bit of a process and it gradually gets, goes away and then starts getting better. So the first thing to understand is that all karmic accounts and all pain is trying to balance things out by giving us a lesson. Now, what's the other way of paying off karma? The second way of paying off karma is, and this is the best way, <laughs> it's by receiving spiritual power. Because all karmic accounts, fundamentally, why were they created? Why did we do anything wrong? Why have, has anyone done something harmful? Right? The reason is because we've been influenced by negativity and our power has reduced, our spiritual energy has dropped down and when it drops down our clarity goes down, our capacity to do right things goes down, our common sense goes down and then we start grasping for things to try and feel better and that's why we make mistakes. So all bad karma is the consequence of a low state of consciousness. So the way to really resolve it is to raise our consciousness back up again 
into a higher state. And how does that happen? It happens by, first of all, remembering that we are spiritual beings, beings of beautiful light like a star, spiritual consciousness, <laughs> bodiless divine light, and then connecting with the supreme light, the source of all goodness. And as we receive that energy, and this is what meditation is all about, receiving the power, receiving the vibrations, as we receive that energy, <laughs> then the pain that would otherwise have to come to us to wake us up, to give us the lesson, to, all of that is cleared away because we are gaining the power and the clarity. Right? So suffering snaps us out of something and makes us wake up. But why not just wake up on your own? using the fire of yoga, union with the supreme light, the fire, the fire of yoga, right, union, the, yoga means union, the spiritual power. And as we receive that energy, then we recharge our power, then we start thinking more clearly, we start seeing more accurately what is really going on, and then we start to raise up and at that point, we don't need these messages, these pain messages coming to us because we have voluntarily, of our own accord, heart and soul, decided to ascend and raise our vibrations. <laughs> right? It's just like if someone's in jail and they, they really learn their lesson and they have good behavior, they often get let out many years early right, if they've learned the lesson. If someone is doing bad things, doing bad things, and then they learn the lesson and they change, then they don't need to go down into that hole and get their ass kicked and have like a awful time. So when we voluntarily say, okay, I'm going to come to the root of all this, the root of all of this is that I have lost my spiritual awareness. And so if I regain <laughs> that spiritual power, that divine light, and if I receive that wonderful energy, then I don't need to suffer. That's not to say there won't be other karma coming, but it means that we are actively learning our lesson. And below this video is a link to lots of different meditations to help you experience this higher consciousness, higher consciousness because meditation is something that we can all develop and as we do we start to receive the power this has completely changed my life honestly the thing that's had the biggest effect on me is making that connection feeling the energy feeling illuminated and i feel the reason that i'm able to live in beautiful places and have the life i have is that i've cleared enough karma and raised my consciousness enough so that i can think properly that has allowed me to create a beautiful life. If it wasn't for this meditation, I would be in a really, really bad way right now, I can tell you. So get those links, start doing the meditations, and you will start to really feel that karma being burned out. It burns out the bad karma, and it raises you up and it makes your life so much better. Ah, <sighs> and then the th third way of paying off our karma is by doing counterbalancing good deeds. I was talking to a spiritual teacher about my own bad karma. I was, you know, one of the things that's useful is to humbly admit the things that you've done wrong to a respected spiritual teacher because when we are humble and honest that I have made this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this mistake from my negative state, and I'm humbly acknowledging that I've got problems and I'm humbly doing the work, when you say that to somebody else who you trust and respect, it helps to lighten the burden and it helps to bring about transformation. So I was sharing this with someone, and one of the things she told me is you need to do good karma as well to pay off the past. So one is remembrance, the other is suffering, and the third one is good deeds. What does that mean? 
It means helping others awaken, like for example doing this video, I'm, I'm wanting to share this with you to help you. This is something that I want to do anyway, but it's also paying off some of my karma and helping me out, right? And if you help other people, you start to clear that stuff out. So you've got this negative account of bad karma over here, but then you want to increase your good account so that the good that you've done with your life is this big compared to the bad that you've done, which is down here. If we've done this much bad stuff and this much good stuff, right, then of course, <laughs> the karma police are going to come for us, right? But if we start increasing this every day by using our time and energy to help people, to make a difference, to show up, if we really dedicate ourselves to service, then this account of good karma goes up. And that makes a massive, massive, massive difference. So these are the three ways, paying it off through pain. Hopefully you get the message and change. Second one, the main one, is to have remembrance of our higher self and remembrance of the supreme light, which purifies and burns everything out. And the third thing is to do good deeds, service to others, selfless service as much as we can. And how do we get out of these tangled situations that we might have found ourselves in? It happens step by step, day by day, because we might be going, typically, a lot, most people are actually going downhill in their life. The trajectory, the direction, it's like a boat. With what direction is the boat going in? Is it going towards a good place or a bad place, you know? So there's a direction we're moving. Most people, unfortunately, are moving in a direction that's going to end up causing them a lot of sorrow. That's what most of us have been doing. But when you say, okay, I'm going to change the course, the direction of my life so that I can do more good karma and I can have more meditation and I can learn the lessons and I can be more humble. As you make the shift from going over there to over here, right, wherever it is that wasn't working, you make the shift. That first day, you might not notice any difference at all. You might feel a little bit better, but your life is still a mess. The second day, you know, you're still basically where you were. Third day, not much difference. A week later, maybe a little shift. Two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. I'm now 20, 25 years <laughs> down the road from my spiritual journey. And that one change that I made when I was 18 to have a spiritual life, I had a vision of my future. I saw my future. I made that shift. And now I'm living in a totally different place, a totally different reality, with different people, with different everything, right? But that didn't happen immediately. That took time. It doesn't have to take 25 years. I noticed big changes in my life after a month. After two months, after three months, I started to feel better. I started to change my lifestyle, my relationships, my thinking. So I started noticing big changes in my immediate reality very quickly, but then gradually I ended up in a totally different world and it keeps going in that direction. But we have to be careful that we don't get seduced back into the side streets and the detours and all the chaos because there's so many, <laughs> let's just be honest, there's so many things in this world we could get caught up in, we could get trapped in again and then end up doing bad karma and having to pay it off. So when you're on a spiritual life, you make these decisions to upgrade your karma and to change and then you have to make sure that you are being honest and staying with it long enough for you to really end up in a different, a different place. So hopefully this has been helpful for you and the key thing is to start doing meditation every day, to start changing your thinking patterns, right? to start shifting your lifestyle. If there's anything that's obviously a problem, it's a good idea to stop doing it. I mean, it sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people know about these things and they don't do anything about it. 
and then they wonder why they're still suffering. So we really do need to start making those changes practically. And, you know, we have a meditation course, free meditation course that you can learn that this is what's changed my life. We have loads of meditations for free. Um, if you're wanting to become a spiritual life coach or an author or help other people and make a difference in the world, we have a training on how to be an author, coach, and all these things so you can make money doing something meaningful, helping people. So whatever it is that you want to do, today is the day to do it. Today is the day to shift your karma. Today is the day to really make that change. And when you do, then things genuinely will start getting better. So I just want to thank you for your honesty, for your presence, and I hope you're doing all right. And I, I want you to know that things really and truly will keep getting better for you. So much love and thank you for, for being here. Yay.